Hi everyone, today I am going to be drawing this strawberry in colored pencils. I was using Prismacolor and Polychromos pencils for this drawing and I was working on Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper. Here you can see me beginning to lay in the foundation for this drawing with the white pencil. I am laying in white pencil anywhere that I'm going to want highlights on this strawberry. And you can see me using something called a black light flashlight so that I can see where I am putting that white pencil down. It's really hard to see your white pencil when you're drawing on white. And that black light flashlight really helps me be able to see what I'm doing, which is kind of important. So finally, I am able to start coming in with some of my reds. And I'm focusing at first on these little seeds. Again, just trying to get the foundation there so that then I can come over with all of my bright red mid-tone colors. There's a lot of work that goes into my drawings before they really start to look like anything. I mean, this is something that you would probably call an ugly stage right here. This is a place that a lot of times a beginner might give up. And then now I'm starting to come in with some of those brighter reds. I used a Prismacolor Poppy Red up here right around the top of the drawing because I wanted kind of a brighter orangey red even though the majority of this strawberry is going to be a little bit cooler. Three of my favorite red pencils are the Prismacolor 923, 924, and 925, and they get um, progressively cooler and a little bit darker in value, and they're just really great pencils to work with in combination when you're trying to create a little bit of a blended transition between your reds. And now I'm just going all over everything. You can see even where I laid down that white pencil in the beginning, I'm just putting that red all over all of it. And when I come back later with my Gamsol Odorless Mineral Spirits or my solvent to blend out the pencil, it will pull up the color that I have put on top of the white pencil and just sort of reveal those highlights that are underneath. So this is just a really easy way to work. And here you can see where I've blended over some of that with the Gamsol, how those white highlights just reappeared. The color just doesn't stick as well in those areas where I put the white pencil down first. It creates a bit of a barrier and then the Gamsol pulls that up. I have some detailed tutorials talking about how I work with Gamsol on my Patreon. So if that's a product that's new to you, you can go over there and check that out. Any brand of solvent would work in a very similar way. It does not have to be Gamsol. So once the Gamsol has dried, I will come back over with my next layers of pencils and starting out just brightening up those seeds and then working back over those white highlights, just cleaning them up. Right now we just have the foundation for a really nice drawing, but this still does not look good. It's probably not really going to look very good until I'm almost done with it. I always like to say that if it looked good, then it would already be done, and it can't always already be done, so you just have to keep working on it. And I'm just moving back through using basically the exact same colors that I was working with initially. And then I'm working back and forth with more of my mid-tone reds. And just working back and forth with the Prismacolor and the Polychromos pencils almost interchangeably. They do have slightly different characteristics that I will take advantage of, and then sometimes I'm just choosing a pencil based on the color that I need. But in general, I'll use the polychromos when I'm wanting some extra sharp details, and I'll use the Prismacolor when I'm wanting more of a soft coverage. Increasing the shadows here on this one side. That's a polychromos, I think red-violet. Sometimes as I get into these um, 
further along with the layering process on the drawing, certain pencils will tend to stick better than others. So sometimes I'll just choose a pencil based on what's working for me at the moment with the drawing. Here's my Prismacolor Hot Pink, and I use that over the white highlights just to give kind of a glow around the edge. It's a little bit of a wild card pencil. I normally wouldn't think to put that there, but it worked in this case. And then you saw me using the electric eraser to brighten up some of the white highlights. Again, that works really well because I put that white pencil down first as a foundation. If I hadn't done that, the electric eraser would not pull those highlights back to bright white, um, but you can still use that technique to add texture to your drawings. And again, just continuing to layer over this until I'm happy with it. That electric eraser is another essential tool for me. It just really makes a big difference. I do like to always go back over it with the white pencil, just so it's not just the roughness of the paper showing through on my drawing, but it looks more complete. And at this stage, I'm just looking around at the drawing and looking back and forth at my reference just to see what details I need to complete before I'm finished. And now I am on to the leaves. And just, you can see there where I've already traced the outline, and now I can just go back over those. There's my stylus again, and I'm gonna use that even more in the leaves just to indent the paper some where I want the veins to be. And there were also some little fuzzy kind of hairs around the edges of some of these leaves, so I made sure to get those in. And then using that black light flashlight once again. So now when I'm coming over those areas with my green pencils, I think you'll be able to see that again, the pencil won't stick to those areas that I use that stylus. And I'm starting off with just, I think this is a 90% cool gray, just to get my shadows in here, because none of the greens that I'm working with were actually dark enough in value to create these shadows as dark as I needed them to be. So I started off by layering in that layer of gray and now using the white pencil to add some highlights. Again, just establishing that foundation. And I'm just looking back and forth between my drawing and my reference to see where I want those shadows and highlights to be. And then coming over with my greens, I believe this is the Prismacolor Dark Green. And I go straight over those shadows and highlights. So now I have not just a 90% gray pencil, but I have a really dark value of green. And again, using a combination of Prismacolor and Polychromos. Right now, those lines on the leaves look really scratchy and maybe a little bit too harsh. When I blend over those with Gamsol, it will soften them up a lot. If you want them to stay really nice and harsh like that, then you're gonna wanna work around them with the Gamsol because the Gamsol will work some color down into those spaces. I was using a few different greens on here. Kelly Green, I was also using Light Sap Green from Prismacolor, and then the Polychromos Permanent Green Olive, which is one of my favorite greens from Polychromos. And using the white pencil in there. And once I get enough coverage on here, I'm gonna blend this out with Gamsol, just like I did with the strawberry. I like it to look um, close to what I want it to look in the end before I blend. So I try to get those values in there. See how this will soften up those lines, but you can still see them under there. That's more what I want. And again, if you're wanting them to stay brighter, you need to work around them. I did kind of work around some of those little hairy lines there at the edge of the one leaf. Just lightly blending over everything makes a big difference and this is still not done though. It still needs quite a bit of work to uh, deepen the shadows, brighten the highlights, add some details, just really clean it up. And so I'm starting off where I began with that 90% cool gray pencil 
a lot of times I just work back through the exact same way that I started off. This little leaf over here took some time to get right. It's not there yet, clearly. One of the things that I really like to do with my drawings is to have a very strong contrast and it's just really important for me to get the shadows as dark as I can. Not as dark as I can, as dark as they need to be. Using the electric eraser to brighten up some areas as well. Again, remember I did use some of the white pencil at the very beginning so I can get some really bright bits erased up there. And now back to working on this leaf here for a minute. I wanted it to have a little bit of shape and a little bit of curve. Used a lot of directional lines and shadow to make that happen. Anytime I want a really nice sharp edge, I'm going to go with those polychromos pencils. And again, just like on the strawberry, I'm just going to keep working back and forth around this until I'm happy with it. And here you can see my finished drawing. If you are interested in learning how to draw this yourself, you can head over to Patreon. I have included a line drawing, a color guide, a supplies list, a reference image, and there are five instructional videos all in real time to show you how to draw the strawberry yourself. So check that out if you're interested. I will provide a link in the description and otherwise I will see you back next week with another colored pencil drawing. Bye everybody!